is up you guys welcome back to another youtube video i am so pumped to be here it has been so long since i filmed a youtube video for you guys and i just was in a rut after vacation but i am back and i'm ready to roll and i'm just super excited to be here so i appreciate you guys for clicking on this video and joining me for today so in this video you are going to learn how to put on these bad boys right there I have been asked so many questions of how to put these on so I tell you a little story of how I got started with false lashes and I give you all the tips and tricks of how to put these on easy and painlessly painlessly is that a word I don't know easy and breezy leap wow shows it's been a while <clears throat> so go ahead and just stay on tuned for this video stay on tuned Stay on tune, people. <laughs> so go ahead and stay tuned because we're just going to go ahead and get right on to this video because I don't know how to talk anymore. So let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, it's time to get these bad boys on these eyeballs because it is about time because I'm looking a little scary right now. Now let's state the obvious. I went a little bold with my eyes and they need some lashes. But I wanted to share a story with you guys and how I started wearing false lashes. So, freshman in high school, don't ask me why I was doing this or what was going through my brain because I obviously didn't have a brain. But I was sitting in my mom's sink because that's just what I do where I put on my makeup. But I wasn't putting on any makeup. I was watching my mom put on her makeup but for some reason I got really bored and I decided to cut my eyelashes off with toenail clippers. I have no idea what was going through my head at all so I had no lashes but mama came in and clutch with some false lashes now like the individual ones that like you put on and I only did it to one eye keep in mind one eyeball I don't know but so my mom hooked me up going into a fresh going into high school as a freshman and you know you want to look your best and I cut off my eyelashes I don't know why but anyways my mom hooked me up put some false lashes on me and it probably looked fake as all get out going into high school with false lashes but that's what we had to do it looked good nobody knew so I was golden until they grew back and they did grow back longer and thicker don't ask me how but they did, so it all worked out in my favor. <laughs> but ever since then, I have worn false lashes and I have been asked many, many times how I stick them on because they can be very, very intimidating to put on your eyes. You feel like you're gonna poke out your eye or just anything of that nature. Or it's too long, they're not gonna look right, they're gonna look like you have no eyeballs because I definitely did that for a while where it looked like I stopped wearing them because like my eye looks like I have no eyes because I already have very small eyes made it look like I had no eyeballs in pictures they were just black dots so I feel like I'm just being real vulnerable with you guys because this is my natural hair I took out my extensions I don't want to go there but I took them out but I'm gonna switch to clip-ins I'm deciding so once I get them I'll show you guys how to put those in I don't have any tanner on which is really really weird for me tried out a new hairstyle got some volume I mean I'm a whole new woman today so these are the wispies they are our Dell from our Dell these honestly have been my go-to from the drugstore I love them for everyday wear I got this whole pack for I think like eight bucks I think and I reuse my lashes a lot <laughs> to say the least every day I just peel off the glue um, when I do put them back on and they last me for months you guys months and months and months okay so we're getting really close and personal but I want you guys to see how exactly this is done so these lashes focus these lashes are a little too long for my eyes I have very very small eyes and I know a lot of people have that problem or maybe like a corner will be sticking out or anything like that so what I do is I cut my lashes because otherwise they're porking porking and this is dangerous okay so what I do is I normally will cut from the inside corner of the eyelash this is for my eyes this is my eyes personally I'm gonna go ahead and do that to both 
now they'll fit my eyes. Now, if you don't know how long your eyes are, what I suggest doing first before cutting it is sticking this while there's no glue on it, and these are new so they are kind of sticky, sticking it on your eyeball and seeing where, whoa, seeing where they're going to hit. So for me, it's going to be bugging me on the inside, and I already know that. It's too far into the corner of my eye, and we're going to have poking watery eye problems. So that is why I cut off inside. So if you do not know how long, you know, this is, put it on your eye first without glue, and then go from there and then cut. Okay, so after you get that length that you want, next what you're going to do is prep your lashes, which I, which I have already done off camera. I just put a little bit of mascara onto my eyelashes. Then after that is the next step. So what you are going to do is, this is my secret trick, because everybody's like, how do you get the glue on the lashes? Like, it will go everywhere. Like, trust me, I've tried. I cannot just get a little bit out of the glue container onto the lashes. So what I do, and this is the glue I use, is the Duo um, glue, and it is the white clear. So if you are not wearing eyeliner on your eyes, as I am not right now, you would want to use a white clear glue. Now the Duo brand does have a black glue that you can use if you do have, if you are tending to wear eyeliner. now. I just use this glue for all purposes. I don't really carry both with me. If I wanted to, I totally could, but I just don't want to. So, so what you're going to do is just stick a little bit onto the, whoa, onto the Q-tip. And then you are going to grab your lash and you're going to place the glue on the lash. And I just make sure to put a little bit more on the corners so that if I do happen to get a watery eye, that's not going anywhere. Now the key is to let this dry for a minute. So I'm gonna do this to the other one. Okay, so now that the glue has dried for a little bit, what you're going to do is, um, I take tweezers. Now tweezers at first were very, very, very intimidating to me to use, especially going close to my eye. That's some scary crap. Now if you do not want to use tweezers, you do not have to. Just use your fingers. Exactly the same thing of what I'm doing. Just kind of give it an extra little minute. I may blow on it. And the first time to put these on are the hardest because it's not shaped to your eyeball yet. What I do is place it in the middle of my eye. Let it sit there for a minute. Just let it sit. And then you're going to be able to shape this to your eyeball. The key is being patient because you're going to have to maybe hold the corners for a minute because it has not been shaped to your eye before. Once you already have these shaped to your eyeball, literally you can pop these on within not even like two seconds like you can literally just boop boop because they're already cut to your eye shape they're already shaped to your eye shape and everything like that so it's a lot a lot easier sometimes i go in with my hand and i smash my eyelashes to the um glue and the false lash and then that's how they look put together now the key to false lashes so that your eyes do not look closed is making sure when you put on the lash that it is facing up. So don't have it facing down and sticking like this. Have it facing up and placing it up. And then if you feel that it's kind of falling down a little bit is what I do is I just take the other end of the tweezer and I push it up. And that one is stuck on very well. So that is simply how you do it guys. I'm going to do it to the other eye again just to show you again because I know this can be very, very complicated. And that is that, you guys, that is simply how you put them on. And the last final, final step that I do is I put on mascara so that they blend together and I just like the look of 
a lot of mascara and I know that when you do wear false lashes you don't necessarily need to do that because it's giving you that already but I'm a little extra so so that is that you guys that is how you put these on it's probably a lot easier than you thought but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was so much fun being back and I just have so many ideas in mind so you guys better stay tuned for my videos because they're gonna be bomb they're gonna be on point so make sure you guys stay tuned so you better give this video a thumbs up on your way out and do not forget to subscribe and also follow all my social media so we can stay connected and anyways guys I love you so much so thank you for tuning into this video and thank you for being a part of this YouTube family I really really do appreciate you so anyways guys I will see you in the next one bye <laughs> that was not okay we will never do that again